So good evening, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to a new Human Experience podcast. Today is September the 23rd, 2021. And the topic for this evening is Grounded in You. So I actually want to inquire how have you all been this week? Last week, I mentioned that we, we are actually at the end of a cycle and that, and actually uh, this week, it's, it is the beginning of a new one. So I know that this week, is, it really has been an interesting week for me. Not that, you know, all the, the other weeks has not been interesting because we are definitely living in very um, exciting times. It's just that hmm, this week, it's knowing that, you know, um, we are all in kind of a new movie. And, and I, I can't really say this for anyone else. I can only say it, share what my own experience is. Um, I know some of you may be you know, wondering, oh, what am I talking about? New movie, old movie? Um, so I just want to address that a little bit. It's, um, what do I mean by old movie? It's, it's that really energetically, we actually just started the uh, new year, which is 2021 energetically. Now, even though... Um, According to the calendar, we are deep into the year 2021, but energetically, it's like we, we were still experiencing the same year, like the same things that's going around from last year, left over from last year. So now we're kind of energetically entering in a new, uh, we are in new grounds. And so that's what I'm referring to. You don't have to agree with me. You don't even have to believe me, anything like that. But just pretend, pretend. And I'm simply doing that as pretending for myself anyways. Um, one of the, the few reasons why I think that this is new movie, totally new things and living in totally new um, paradigm from before was that it's just, um, I am playing this game with myself as well. Because I heard somebody mention that, yeah, it is, it is brand new. The energy coming in is new. And we, the things that we think we are tied to in the past is we no longer tied to those. We are actually free. It's just that we don't quite believe that we are free yet. So I'm playing with that idea. So if everything were new, what would I be doing? So let's play all along. And so this is where I come from, where what I mean by a new movie is I am really playing with myself that everything is new. I'm, and so what do I really want to do in this new movie? So that's what I've been playing with um, for this week now. And listening to some of the, the, the few thought leaders that I resonate with, you know, just Franco, Jason, to name a, um, a couple, it seems to be they are all referring to something called presence. Presence simply means being in this moment, being who you are in this moment. So that's, that's what presence mean. And so I've been playing this thing called presence. And um, it's interesting because what I've noticed is how often I am not in presence, how, 
how often I'm really just reacting, even though I consciously do try to be grounded in myself, trying to, to really be conscious, be fully conscious of who I am, where I am, and how I am in interacting with the environment around me. So all this is really about presence. And it's like I am learning to walk all over again. And this time, what I mean by learning to walk is that I'm learning to walk as me. And this does not come naturally. Um, I am very good at walking as um, all the, I would say, really projecting and uh, projecting what it is that I don't want to see within myself to project it on someone else, to, to really um, think, to react, rather than to act. That's, that's what I mean by that. And when I really get in the present and, and practice this being in the moment and to act, meaning to choose consciously what I want to do instead of reacting according to what I encounter um, from my environment, who I'm with in the moment and reacting from what they say and how they interact with me is to really get to choose how I want to feel and how I want to be. So that's what I mean by learning to walk as me. And this is really part of also noticing where it is that I am simply acting from a, an, an identity rather than just being with what is in front of me right, right now and being authentic and also just to choose how I want to be at, I would say, well, not every moment, I, I'm nowhere near that, but as often as possible, I want to do that, to, to live in that state. So I just want to um, give an example of, of what I mean by that. So for example, opening portals, I think um, some of you have actually, uh, if you have heard this podcast or participated this in this podcast, you know that you know one of the thing is um, every now and then I would open a portal, and so the um, I would say a couple of days ago I was asked to open a portal, and this time the the experience is very different. Before I would be told that okay, this is the portal we want you to open. And what's the name of the portal? And um, I may ask about, you know, what it, what it is for, what it's supposed to do. I would get some of that. And during the, the so when it is the day that I'm supposed to open a portal, I would get confirmation. I would re, it's like a lot of hand holding. So I really feel that there's um, a lot of, participation, not just from myself, but from all the other people as well, or I should say all the other entities that is coaching me and really guiding me along. And then this time, I was still told, or, or I still have a request to open a, a portal. However, when I tried to get confirmation there, um, I didn't hear anything. It's like I tried to um, ask my guides, but you know, it's like nobody showed up. It, it does not seem like anybody showed up. And so I felt like a little, um, you know, left, 
left in outfield a bit, and it was a little uncomfortable. And so I was, there's a lot of conversation that, you know, went through my, my head. It's like, wow, is, am I sure that somebody actually told me to, to open this portal? Um, do I, is this really, like, did I hallucinate that or, or not? So there was really a lot of um, questioning, a lot of, like, I don't know what's happening. So, so there's, I would say that the ego part of me just had a few day in this. And so the first time I, the first day I sat down to see if I'm supposed to open this, this portal, I'm just not getting a yes. So I didn't. And I really, you know, ask for confirmation, but I still didn't get one because in the, like usually in the evening, cry on, um, one of my guides just showed up and, you know, lots of things. I felt the energy really strong and all of that, but there was no confirmation. He didn't say no, and he also did not say yes. It's the, the um, I would say the, what I got is that it is up to me now. <laughs> It is something that I have to figure out on my own. And so that's what's not easy for me because I've been so good at doing whatever it is that other people told me to do. Because, you know, when, you know, Cryon told me what to do, I would do exactly what it is that I needed to do. And even though most of the time, I would say a lot of times I really don't know how I'm supposed to do something, but because out of, you know, just sheer following instructions, it's like everything just, um, everything just worked out. And now in this new movie, I'm actually sensing that, that, that there is a lot less hand holding I'm not being um, guided as much it's like I can still sense cryon is around when I call on um, mother earth mother earth is still around but when I ask for should I do this to, to get this I really did not get a yes a definitive yes or no I'm being asked to figure it out on my own, that I'm the one that needs to make the choice whether I, whether it is appropriate for me to open this portal. And so this is new for me, this trusting myself, this, and also this um, letting go of, the hand holding anymore so the it's it's kind of like the training wheels are off and I'm being asked to just go with it to really reach deep within myself to find the answer to get to know what yes feels like and what no feels like and um and also the, the freedom to make mistakes, the freedom to, to choose and also the freedom to make mistakes. And I don't like making mistakes. I'm very uncomfortable making mistakes. And this is really something that it's, it, I needed to learn that it's okay to make mistakes. And I think this is the opportunity that I'm being given. And, and so I finally did really do, a, did a lot of, I would say, letting go of needing to be right and, um, and letting go of a lot of that and, and really shifting and, and doing the transformation right there and then in the moment to get to the point where I actually felt that 
confirmation from within that this is what I choose to do. And it does not matter what the consequences may be. This is what I choose to do. And I really get very present about why I choose to do to open this portal. The portal is actually um, a lot of the times I open portals for for whole human collective, but this time it's actually for a very uh, it's for a local collective. It's, it's, it's really, and also what I'm getting from that is that it's more about getting the, um, choosing to provide the opportunity to balance the energy for a particular location, which is where the portal is. So all of that, and I, and I was able to get the information, the confirmation from myself, not from anyone else. So that was my experience. And that was really a, a learning experience. And that's, that's one of the experience, that's one of the, um, I would say, learning experience for me this week. And there are a lot of others as well. And I won't name all of them. I just want to give, give one of the examples. And so from all of the, the different um, experience that, that I had this week, I just sat back and looked at a couple of things. And I made the topic to be grounded in you, meaning grounded in ourselves. And this is really about, I would say, grounded in ourselves is really a, it's the other side of the coin to being present, to what presence is about, is we need to be grounded in ourselves. We cannot be present if we're not grounded in ourselves. And this is what I am learning to do at a much more serious level. I mean, every now and then I would, I would um, get present, but it's most of the time it's, it's, it's like a short burst of time, usually when I'm meditating or when I'm actually um, preparing, let's say preparing for podcast, then I would be more present. And then also when I am reading, um, I would say certain books, then I would become more present. But most of the time, I really have not taken this idea of being, being uh, the idea of presence and being grounded in myself too seriously. And, and I would say this week is really the first week that I'm doing more of that and I'm requiring more of myself to do that and and what I found is a couple of things is that um, the first thing to really assisted me in being easy making it easier for my for me to to be present to me to be grounded in myself is is really acceptance, self-acceptance. There it really is no, I would say there's no basis of presence if you can't accept who you are in the moment. So accepting myself is really one of the, something that I really have to um, get a better, get a better grip on to become more diligent in practicing presence. So this is what I want to share. So for me, accepting myself does not really require that I um, I would say, hmm that I agree with everything that I do in the moment. Because some there are some things that I just do just because 
out of a whim that I just want to do because, you know, it's fun to do something that's completely out of character without even giving it a second thought to just do it. So, but self-acceptance means that even when I do something silly, that I would still, or even when I do something that is um, really giving in to a momentary weakness, that is still self-acceptance means that I'm okay with all of that. I'm okay with seeing myself fully, even though I know and I can see some things that I could, I could really have done much better than what I've done. But just, but also to accept those parts of me that is still needing to just be without living to a certain standard. So for me, self-acceptance is about that. Because every time I try to live according to a certain standard that I have of myself, it's really, it promotes disconnecting and rejecting a part of myself. And self-acceptance for me is, is really seeing all of those and still be able to with be with all of that to be with myself when I make a mistake to be with myself when I um, behave in a certain way when I'm not compassionate to other people to just accept that that that's where I'm at and to not and to to take all of that in and still be able to connect with myself and not try to sweep that under the the floor. So that's what I mean by self-acceptance. And the other way I find that is helpful to be grounded in myself is a matter of feeling safe. I find that safety means it's safety means a lot because we have this body and we, I, well, okay, let's not say we, but I, let's just, this, if this is about me feeling safe, a lot of the times when I'm by myself, I don't feel safe. Well, okay, by myself, not meaning that I'm by myself in the house, but even when I'm going out on my own, not meeting a friend, it's, it's, I don't always feel safe. So this, I, I, this idea of feeling safe is something that is this in my face for me to look at. So I really get that um, there is still a lot of the safety thing that I have to be with. Um, I'm not saying that it's an issue or it's a problem or anything like that. It is where I'm at, that I, at, at a certain level, I don't feel safe. And that in order to be present, in order to be grounded in myself, that I am actually needing more time for myself to just check in, uh, to see my, my safety meter. Do I feel safe within my own skin? A lot of the feeling safety is that I don't feel safe when I'm with other people because um, 
well, it's it's kind of two twofold in that I have accepted uh, the idea that, you know, when there's like that when we are by ourselves, we're not safe. And that there is safety in numbers. That's something that I that's an idea that I've been living from. However, um I am beginning to see the cracks in that, the validity of that idea. And especially when I see myself interacting in, in group setting, is that um, it seems like I have an internal struggle that I want to, that I, I feel I need the, to choose between being myself and being safe. I have this, this idea that I'm not safe when I am being me, when I choose to be who I am rather than when I really be who I am and don't, don't really care what other people are, how they receive me. So this that that's kind of is the 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 old movie. But this week I really work on this idea of safety within myself. And and of course it it has something to do with the accepting myself as well. So as more I really focus on accepting myself and really fully loving myself and also fully understanding what this, where this idea of not feeling safe is coming from, that I really come to more of an understanding that I can choose to be who I am. And when I'm okay to be who I am, then even when I'm in a group that I have to, that, that I would feel more safe when I'm grounded in that safety within myself. And it, it isn't because I don't have that grounding of being safe within myself that I have that, I would say that insecurity about being myself in a group setting. So that is something that I've been really working on to be present when I feel that I'm not safe and really notice when I don't feel safe and really in that moment to start to switch that around to hone in to what safety feels like and also to choose to feel that safety. Because I really understand that when I, I would say, choose to behave in a way that will make other people, um, I would say, to make other people think that I'm okay and accept me, that that really is not giving me the the experience that I wanted in a group. The new experience that I am in for is to feel that love, acceptance, and safety within myself so that I can really feel that safety to be who I am, no matter what other people um, may say or think about me, not in the the um, the sense that I 
have to be obnoxious, just uh, this is me, this is my way or the highway, but to really grounding in feeling the safety within myself and really, really feeling into how do I want to be when I'm in this group so that I can be authentic to me without um, without compromising in order to, to fit in. So that is what I've been working on this week. And then the one more thing that I would like to share is for me, this, this week is also about trust. Um, I think the word that I'm looking for more is, is actually faith. Faith does not really mean that, that I trust that there is a God or someone outside that's going to take care of me and give me what I want. Faith really means to me now, my, my understanding of faith now, it's really to, to trust that no matter what happens, as long as I do what's appropriate uh, to the best of my own ability in the moment to what's, what's for me to do, to, to really walk and to be in this moment that whatever it is that I wish for, whatever it is that I want to experience in my life is going to come in whenever it's appropriate. So it could, so it's really about faith that um, actually, I want to 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 illustrate more is there's a difference between my will, or I should say the human will, because my will is and it's it's the human will kind of will. So there's a what's the the concept between my will and then the concept of God's will. So my will, what is my will? My will is okay. I want to have this experience, let's say, to have, um, to live in a certain kind of um, housing, to have a certain kind of um, community around me, to have a certain kind of family dynamics and all that. So that's, that's my will. That's what I wish for. However, there is also God's will. God's will, my will has, an, has a, a schedule. Like I want to, to have that like right now or shortly after. So my will has a, a time factor to it. I want this now or as soon as possible. However, um, God's will does not work like that. When I say God, I don't mean, I, I, I don't mean God as in the Bible's God. I, I'm, I'm referring to God as in the concept of the um, universal creator. So the, so there is a will or there is a certain way that the universal creator has created there is a certain underlying um, direction that God's will is going towards and it's not always in the same speed and the same direction as my will and it's my understanding that because I'm also a an aspect of this god this an aspect of this universal um, intelligence 
that is creating the future, that what is good for me is also in line with what's good with the universal creator or God or whatever um, label we want to put on it. So to, to be in faith, to really have faith is to actually It gives me the courage to do, to take care of what's in front of me, to do the best, what, um, what I'm capable of doing in this moment. So to the best of my ability and to handle everything according to what is the best of my ability in the moment. And that the faith part is that I may make mistake. I may not be able to um, materialize or, or, or uh, get the experience that I wish to have right now. However, when I am doing my best, then at some point, whatever it is that is the best for me is going to show up and that there is a convergence between what's what it is that or i would say what i consider as my will and the whatever it is that's considered god's will as well it's just that the timing is not quite the same because I live in the human time, whereas God lives in a, a outside of this time. It's the, the, the creator, the un, universal creator lives outside this. And so that is, and that if I just be, do my best to be, to be grounded in me, to be present, and to walk in this, and to, to, to exercise my presence, then whatever it is that is my will and God's will, will come together at some point. And a lot of the times, you will see this happening. It, um, but usually whatever it is that I want, it's, I would be able to get it. Only when I look back, I would actually understand that in order for me to, to get to that part, there actually I actually have to take a lot of steps that took me outside of what is considered my will, but it actually helped me learn and to, to prepare myself to when what it is that I want to experience is actually what I'm experiencing in this moment. So that's all I want to share for today is it's really my experiment. <laughs> I would the, for, for the, the most, I would say the most pro appropriate words is how I am building this new life, this and being in this new movie is um, all the things that I've learned and all the, the insights that I have is really the, the couple of things is presence. It's not something that come easy. And presence really require that you have to be grounded in yourself. And to 
be willing to experiment, to be willing to walk one step at a time, not knowing where it is that you're heading, but to do, to really look within, to, to search within, is this the best that I can be in this moment? And to simply trust that process. And it is the first week. And who knows where I will be and who knows where every one of us will be in a year's time or even in a couple of years time. And so I have a lot of faith that we'll get there. And that's all I would like to share for this week. <laughs>